Lucas, Luke chapter 13. And some were present at that time, reporting to him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with their offerings. And Yeshua answering said to them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they have suffered like this? I say to you, no, but unless you repent, you shall all perish in the same way. Or those eighteen on whom the tower in Siloach fell and killed them, do you think that they were greater offenders than any other men who dwelt in Jerusalem? I say to you, no, but unless you repent, you shall all perish in the same way. <clears throat> and he spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he became... And he came, seeking fruit on it, and found none. And he said to the gardener, Look, for three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down. Why does it even make the ground useless? And he answering said to him, Master, leave it this year too, until I dig around it and throw manure. And if indeed it bears fruit, good. But if not so, you shall cut it down. And he was teaching in one of the congregations on the Sabbath. And see, there was a woman having a weakening spirit for eighteen years, and was bent over, and was unable to straighten up at all. And Yeshua, seeing her, called her near, and said to her, Woman, you are loosened from your weakness. And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was straightened up, and praised Elohim. But the ruler of the congregation responding, much displeased that Yeshua had healed on the Sabbath, said to the crowd, There are six days on which men should work, so come and be healed on them, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the master answered him and said, Hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath loosen his ox or his donkey from the stall and lead it away to water it? And this one, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, look, for eighteen years, should she not be loosened from this bond on the Sabbath? And when he said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and all the crowd rejoiced for all the splendid works being done by him. Therefore, he said, what is the reign of Elohim like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a mustard seed, which a man took and threw into his garden, and it grew and became a large tree. And the birds of the heavens nested in its branches. And again he said, To what shall I compare the reign of Elohim? It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of flour, until it was all leavened. And he was going through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Master, are there few who are being saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, because many, I say to you, shall seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Master, Master, open for us. And he shall answer and say to you, I do not know you, where you are from. Then you shall begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he shall say, I say to you, I do not know you. Where are you from? Depart from me, all you workers of unrighteousness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov and all the prophets in the reign of Elohim and yourselves thrown outside. And they shall come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and sit down in the reign of Elohim. And see, there are last who shall be first. And there are first who shall be last. On the same day there came certain Pharisees, saying to him, Get out and go from here, for Herodas wishes to kill you. And he said to them, Go say to that fox, See, I cast out demons and perform healings today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. But I have to journey today and tomorrow, and the day following, because it is not fitting for a prophet to perish outside of Jerusalem. Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, killing the prophets and stoning those who were sent to her. How often I wish to gather your children together, the way a hen gathers her chickens under her wings. But you would not. See, your house is left to you laid waste. And truly I say to you, 
You shall by no means see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who is coming in the name of Yah.